Yes, the new Amplitude for PlayStation 4 is coming out. The sequel to one of my favorite PS2 games. I can't wait to play it. Alright. This is even better! <laughs> Amplitude for PS4 is the culmination of a Kickstarter project from Harmonix. Quick history lesson. Two guys from MIT, Alex Rigopoulos and Aaron Agozzi, decided to make a company that focuses on music games. Their first major release was Frequency, a PS2 game published by Sony. The game mostly focused on underground electronic music and reviewed well, but didn't quite sell well. Harmonix then improved on the game and released a sequel called Amplitude. This one used licensed music from well-known artists like David Bowie, Blink-182, and Slipknot. Amplitude reviewed and sold better, but still not enough. Then everything Amplitude just went quiet, until 2014 when Harmonix announced a Kickstarter for a revival of the series. It raised over $800,000 and has a release date of January 5th, 2016. Now you may be saying, where have I heard the name Harmonix before? Well, after Amplitude, they created Guitar Hero, Dance Central, and Rock Band, which pretty much blew up the music genre for video games. They even attempted to go back to the Amplitude style with Rock Band Unplugged on PSP and Rock Band Blitz on PS3 and the Xbox 360. Now that leads us to the new Amplitude, so let's go check it out. Full disclosure, I did help kickstart this game, but I have kickstarted games before that have turned out very bad, so no guarantee on that. Plus, for music and science nerds out there, sound shows up as sine waves. How many times the ups and downs occurs is frequency, and how far up and down each cycle goes is Amplitude. I'm skipping the story segment even though there is a 15 song campaign that plays like a concept album. It's best if you experience it yourself. Amplitude's gameplay consists of choosing a song and then choosing a blaster that has three protrusions in the front. Then six highways show up with gems coming down them. You have to hit the corresponding button in time with the music. The blaster will zap the gem like taking a fork to a power outlet. Oh, shit. Sounds like Rock Band, right? Wrong. The big distinguisher here is playing each note in a row correctly will turn that highway or instrument on for a while. You must move to one of the five other highways quickly to retain your combo. The goal is to keep all the tracks on and never break your combo. Once you beat the campaign, you unlock Freak Mode, which turns the flat six highway structure into a tunnel like the original Frequency game. You also gain power-ups from hitting special gems that show up on the highway. Examples are Cleanse, that clears a highway instantly, or Sedate, which slows the track down, allowing you to hit notes more easily. There is also a multiplayer for up to four players to play along, or against each other. No online multiplayer, which is kind of a bummer. Now, when it comes to a game like Amplitude, the music is very important. Unlike the previous game, there are almost no licensed tracks, and the licensed ones are not mainstream artists. There are songs like Impossible from Supergiant Games' excellent PS4 title Transistor, a song from a fighting game called Skullgirls, and even a freeze pop song just for examples. Most of the tracks are original creations, which is actually a very good thing. Their songs are by far the most fun and complex songs to play, probably because they were written with the game's design in mind. They are very enjoyable just to listen to as well, although unless you're really good, you might not always hear all the parts. Imagine if you had to listen to all your favorite music like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, wait, wait lo, lo, lost vocals. Wait, I got no, oh, no, oh, there is bass. Oh, the treble, no. Oh, at least it's on the piano. Nope, lost the piano. The list is mostly electronic, which to some might be bad, but I loved hearing the songs over and over again as I mastered them. They are upbeat and each have their own feel to them. My main complaint with the list is that there are only 30 songs, but considering this is a small, kickstarted $20 game, I can't complain too much. Plus, maybe there will be DLC down the line. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. 
In fact, when I first played it, I played for five hours straight and kept having that just one more feeling. Even when I was editing it, I noticed like the visuals are just mesmerizing on its own. If you like the old games, if you love music, this is the game you're going to want. I give Amplitude for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 my rating of buy it. Hey, thanks for watching the video, and if you want to see more, you can click the link on the left to watch my previous review, I Spy Challenger, that's not a good game. Or, if you want a more positive view, here's another downloadable title on the Wii U, Pushmo, on the right. And if you want to see even more, don't forget to subscribe so you can always hear that fanfare.